So Nick. Uh. So you know what's been happening lately? What's up? What's been in trend? Shoes. Yeah, shoes. Especially uh, about you know those hipster sneaker shoes. Sneakers, yeah. Yeah, you know right now what's in trend? Well, it's uh, in the news all over. Mm-hmm. Lil Nas. You Lil Nas X. Yeah, Lil Nas X, Old Town Road guy. Right. So he released a shoe that is satanic and contain human blood with a pentagram on it. Are you for real? Or yes, what? and they are okay. being sued by Nike. Oh, because Nike has a shoe like this? No, because Nike has not authorized this. Oh, so it's from Nike. No, like, it's, it's not Nike. It's like Lil Nas collabed with like some sneaker maker, and the sneaker maker took like a Nike shoe uh-huh. and put all those uh, pentagram and colored red and satanic thing on it, and they did not remove the Nike logo on it. So is every... Lil Nas contracted the Nike? No. Hmm. So Nike has not uh, authorized this. It seems like kind of a. Uh crazy move to make for you know yeah man like everyone was angry man like uh, even john jones was very angry about it you know oh shit okay. yeah man like he said like he, he he threatened to burn all his nike shoes oh but then God. it's not nike's fault nike is actually gonna sue Lil actually Nas. that's kind of defamatory isn't it yeah like, it is it using is. their image like that yeah like the nike has opened a court case they're gonna sue Lil, uh, Lil nas like but the damage has been done you know not not everyone if you know those people that just read the headlines, they don't read. Right. The the name for Nike is damaged already for those kind of people. Like. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, man. But I mean, obviously, like I'm sure Nike can just say Lil Nas just went solo and yeah. He's, but, Lil Nas has been a bit like crazy recently. But a lot the, of stuff to, he's been to saying. To contain human blood in a shoe, what? That's, that's not Nike's fault though. That's yeah. I mean, that's, that's Lil Nas. Nas. Yeah, I mean, to, and to his, contain uh, a human friends. blood in a shoe. At least make an effort to remove the Nike logo, man. Like, they didn't make any effort to remove the, the logo at all. He's, he's, I mean, he's been saying a lot of stuff lately. This stuff kind of falls into it, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, everyone is talking about it, about him like, specifically in the news. I wouldn't um, worry about it, though. They just need to launch another Jordans. Everyone will be wearing those in a second. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, that's Nike. Yeah, if they, they have a very good PR, they can damage control. No, I think uh, Nike has probably they, the best PR team. They have to in, sue, you know, they have to sue. They kind of, yeah. yeah like, this is like defamed. I think, I think but yeah, I think honestly, Lil Nas has gone over the board here with this. Yeah, you know, like, everyone in social media is like talking about this, you know, in Facebook, Twitter, you know, even in Discord mm. and all that. So, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. Speaking of Discord, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I had What's some up? news that came up recently that uh, I thought it would be interesting to talk about. Yeah, what, actually, two up? things, actually. Microsoft made two big moves recently, but it's not confirmed yet uh, okay. and it's based on reports so no one's no one's known for sure but they're talking microsoft now after being done with taking you they know just bought Bethesda Bethesda, right and zenimax yeah, yeah. Zenimax. Uh, right after doing that they're now aiming at discord wow just wow how, how, how much do you think they're, they're gonna buy discord well the re- don't don't forget they spend a record breaking deal on if, yeah they really Bethesda. spend a lot on but they, yeah. they spend a lot four billion mm, yeah that's the biggest takeover for gaming uh in general biggest number four billion i mean i'm surprised they have enough money for like but that's but uh, for the discord. discord thing is going to make that look like nothing how the, much for 10 billion th- 10 billion that's more that's than double. the the amount they're touting to buy discord okay let, let, let's try, let's Tackle. What is Discord right now? It's, so it's a social media, right? It's a social you know, media platform. It's, it's, a, it's a chat. It's a chat. Yeah. It's, it's a chat. Uh, it's, but it's pretty much aimed at uh, gaming. Okay. So it's and a it's gaming aimed chat. at provide. It's basically aimed for providing like a uh, community based uh, for okay. gamers. Let, let me just Google a very quick search. What is a Discord for what all you guys? What is a Discord? Yeah. What is Discord? Uh, for all you folks that don't know what it is. Okay, this is from the Discord website. Discord is the easiest way to talk over to talk over voice over video and text, talk, chat, hang out and stay close with your friends and communities. Right. That's what it says in Discord, you know, hmm. the introduction of Discord. So, okay, uh, okay, let's take a look at uh, Wikipedia. Discord is a VOIP, instant messaging and uh, digital distribution platform designed for creating communities, user communication with uh, video calls, 
uh, video calls, uh, text messaging, media, file in private chats as part of the communities called servers. One thing that none of those things have said is that Discord is also a way for people to stream their games live and have the community watch them play these games. I mean, this is or something... Or in like, some aspects, I mean, like, I'm surprised that like, Discord was only founded in 2015. That's uh, six years ago. Yeah, well, I mean, that, it's been pretty much around... For, for a company that uh, is that young and for bringing Microsoft to buy them for 10 billion. And then you gotta look at it also in the fact that with the advent of Reddit and yeah. all these other community-based things, this Discord is pretty much useful in the fact that you want to have a group of friends and you guys want to play a game together and you guys want to connect on your voice thing, right? Yeah. And in this case, if let's say you're playing a PC game, you are connect. You guys are connected and it's your private server. Mm-hmm. basically in that sense I and mean, you know what this is just me saying my predictions like i'm not saying it's going to happen but mm. microsoft have two ways of uh using discord to their advantage uh, right. first what i think is they may exclusively make uh, discord obviously in the pc la, okay there's no doubts but they may make uh discord only be on the xbox uh console possible i mean that's a unique selling point for the xbox lah compared mm. to like the ps4 i'm not saying it's going to happen i'm not saying it's going to happen but that may where it leads could be second is uh maybe it's a marketing tool it's obviously a marketing tool but they it's a place where they can advertise all their great games oh know? i'm sorry yeah it was not 4 billion it was 7.5 billion they used to buy bethesda sorry continue okay, okay. that's still that's still a lot you know? yeah <laughs> so yeah okay uh, they, they may use Discord to like promote their upcoming games or something, you know? Like really push the crap out of their products. I think more yeah. so than... Uh, you're right. And no, it doesn't it, even have to be about the Xbox. It could be like Microsoft uh, system, you know, other things, you know? They, I think they're trying to take advantage of the community aspect. Yeah. Because in Discord, there are a lot of people who like, for example, YouTubers and stuff who have their own Discords and things like that. So they're trying to take an advantage when they said like, oh, you got this on Discord. You know, it's if you want to be on Discord, this is how you need to to do it, and you know it needs to fit the Microsoft thing. It helps them gauge as well. I think like their user base, mm-hmm. you know, communication, controlling information, you know, artwork, stuff like that. You know, yeah, what yeah, yeah, sharing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, like, uh, do, do you see Discord being in the consoles for the next Xbox console? Maybe. I mean, right mm-hmm. now they have 140 million yeah, users. Okay, yeah. I mean, so, obviously they're not going to disturb the PC users. No, no way. But you know, for the phone, I mean, for the console, that's a, that's a new market they could tap. Yeah. And that's going to be a, that's a whole unique selling point that that's going to be against Sony. You know, that's something Sony don't have. Yeah. Unless Sony either makes their own version or they buy someone else. You know. Definitely. Yeah. Then right now, like Microsoft, basically, this is a gaming move, in my opinion. They're trying to buy the gaming market away from Sony with 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 the purchase of Bethesda and Zenimax, and then if they do the Discord thing, and the fact that they're trying to buy twenty three different game studios, you know, which is currently Sony's got sixteen gaming studios. Twenty three. So if you think about it, Microsoft is trying to add twenty three studios into their ranks. To produce games specifically for xbox think about it for a second that's going to be the thing that that sets apart what they're trying to do and if you give them the communication platform on that as well microsoft will be the king of gaming moving I mean, forward that's talk about uh, trying to buy out your competitor right by buying all these smaller companies yeah that's why so, and basically right um this is a guy who uh who was an analyst of technologies and services right he so he there's a quote from him saying that microsoft wants to use its information about the games of discord users play um to inform the development of titles and features to the microsoft studios so you're in that sense you are right they are planning to use it for marketing and also to gain garner what's working what's not what's the game that people want to play you know and at the moment right discord is a cross-platform 
thing. Like, it, uh, and the one thing about Discord is that you can use different consoles to chat while playing the uh, while playing the game while cross-platform gaming. Mm-hmm. So you can you can chat with anyone on anywhere, right? If they're using a PlayStation or something like that, they can use uh, Discord as well at the same time. You know what I mean? So at the at the moment, that's how it is. And this is how people play things like uh, Call of Duty and Fortnite. They use this kind of thing to converse, right? So it's a great place for multiplayer gaming. And if you buy Discord, basically Microsoft was saying we hold everything in our hands. I mean, man, you know, it's never really happened to you before, right? Microsoft is really like going all out on this new gen of uh, they're trying, games. They're, they're trying, they're trying to kill <laughs> Sony at the moment. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it goes to show how much Sony really won the last generation. Mm. Like literally, PS4 slotted the Xbox One. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the the funny thing about it is as well, you know, last year Microsoft tried to buy TikTok. Oh really? They tried to buy TikTok last year, and it failed. I mean, okay. I mean, that might happen again. Yeah, maybe. By, by the looks of it, they're really spending money, you know. Speaking of spending money, the thing that actually did happen, and I thought it's quite interesting because one of the things that that um, Sony is good at right now is the VR game industry. If we look at it, a lot of the VR games on Sony are doing much better, and they're developing more games in that arena. Okay, yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. basically, Microsoft said, "Screw you." And they are ruling to provide the U.S. military with augmented reality gear. A twenty-two billion dollar contract. They won that case. Microsoft won it. They won so it. They are going to get money. They are going to get money to provide the U.S. military with augmented reality headgear. That's just like uh, Metal Gear Solid Two, you know? How they train the soldiers in Metal Gear Solid, you know the story. Yeah. Game. They, that's exactly that's pretty much what it is and you on know, top of that who, who else is a very good had a good following in the um, 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 augmented reality game uh, well it's, the market yeah it has to be Oculus Rift yep I mean that's more on the the gaming the, side of things gaming, yeah. yeah there's the hardware of it lah, but I, I'm sure Microsoft has the hardware and the software pretty much yeah because the Oculus Rift uh, still depends on developers to have a good software for the for the hardware, you know. Yeah. But Microsoft have both things. They they do, and what they have is, right now the headsets, the the VR headsets that they're giving, the American US. Yeah. Uh, military is called the Hololens, so they're saying that it will make soldiers safer, and be able to you know, move through dangerous areas, more effectively. Hmm. And this is a wait, huge wait, thing. They, they're gonna be using this in war or something. Yeah. What? So uh, here's what. Dude, here's not, what, not for training. No, for they're fighting. gonna be using. Well, I guess for tra- I guess for training. But okay. basically, how it is is they'll produce an integrated augmentation system under the contract, and their aim is to deliver the next generation night vision and situational awarenesses uh, capabilities. To the close combat force at the speed of relevance. So, in other words, they may use this in war. It's basically a display used by soldiers for battle and training. It employs night and thermal vision in addition to providing data in engaging tar- targets and making tactical decisions. You know, <laughs> we, I we, only, I, we're I, going I, back to the future, Morty. I, I only have one joke over this. <laughs> Eventually, they're gonna make that helmet into a Halo helmet, <laughs> and they're gonna have to make an AI called Cortana. <laughs> I, just, I just thought this was so hilarious because okay, you know, you know, they don't have the technology for uh, Cortana yet. So um, they, um, no, um, apparently they do. Okay, okay, let's just say, let's just say, maybe the first helmet might not be a Master Chief helmet, right. but it might be a Doom guy helmet. Oh, since boy. they already bought Bethesda and they bought Doom. Um, you know what? At this point. Expect Halo and Doom to cross over. I mean, all they need is an energy sword, man. And, and that's going to happen. I'm very <laughs> sure that's going to happen. Yo, you know, you know, Microsoft, not not Xbox, but Microsoft itself, practically uh, provides um, software for all the computers for the military, mm. like the Microsoft uh, yep. Windows systems with Windows. Mm. And now they're having this with the U.S. Army. Mm. 
they're probably it's safe to say one if if this is a success uh, microsoft is probably going to try and deal with all the other alliance that is us friendly you know it's interesting that you said that because um as you know you know how microsoft has this uh, relationship with the computing and everything right yeah yeah do you know who they outbid uh, who they uh, defeated to get this contract from okay. the US military? From my knowledge, there's only one company that might have this hardware-wise, not software, but hardware. Mm. Might I'm just saying Navivia. No. So it's someone it's someone that we all know very well. Uh, Sony. No. Is is it a game studio? Um, a failed one. Amazon. Yes. They beat Amazon, Jeff Bezos to be exact. They beat Amazon in cloud computing and basically Amazon Jeff Bezos said that it was Donald Trump who improperly influenced the process mm-hmm. and I just want to say it's interesting that Amazon tried to get on this and if anyone knows about Amazon gaming they'll know that they have a studio that basically to, bombed. To, to be fair I think even if uh, Donald Trump didn't get involved I'm, I'm not saying that he did I think Microsoft will probably win it anyway, just based on the fact that they are successful software-wise, gaming-wise, and they already have a relationship with countless country army with the Windows system. It just seems so, to me like right now that Microsoft is making like game moves, like I mean, when I think game moves, I mean they're like, they're like check, 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 like it seems like all the dominoes are falling I mean, for like, Microsoft. It's like, it's literally Bill Gates, well okay, it's not Bill Gates anymore, it's Steve Ballmer, right? It's literally like uh, the new CEO after Bill Gates. Right. He wants to be the richest man in the world. He owns the Clippers. Yeah, I mean, like, Los Angeles Clippers. Yeah. Yo, G, Bill Gates, you already had your chance. It's my turn now. It was like, Elon Musk, I'm coming for you. The, you want to know the other interesting thing? All of this leads to something. Because in Washington, the, the Microsoft is now developing a platform called Mesh. And this is a platform where long-distance co-workers can collaborate in the same room using augmented reality glasses and cloud computing power. So basically, you know this. this is, you know how it is. It's like basically, I wear this and I can see, uh, you know, a producer. Or I wear, uh, you are like in freaking Johor, and we're like in the same room. You know what I mean? Okay, like like like, like okay. That could actually be good for sports as well. You know. Like, uh, man. especially for the fitness industry, like where a coach has to come. I can tell you now, it'll be game yeah. over if yeah. Microsoft gets Discord and implements this. Okay, you that know what? means you know what? Okay, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm just yeah go on, go on, go on, go on. Let's just say, if Microsoft is a bit smart, and I mean, for the hell of it, just say that they are practicing nepotism, lah. Okay, it's capitalism, right? Right. Okay, get this. They go up to the military. Each soldier. They they might be able to train on their own at home, but they need to buy an Xbox. And then the U.S. Army, the U.S. government will set the budget for each personnel to have their own Xbox. I'll give, I'll do you one better, man. Yeah, man, do, like they're gonna outsell PS4. Apple, they don't even need to do that. Yeah. They can just give them the Xbox, and say. You guys need to pay for the Game Pass. Oh yeah, man! It's like okay, like, we'll give you a free Xbox. You just pay reoccurring, dog. Yeah, pay reoccurring, and yours is the gold membership. So pay it. And and we'll have like a Discord server for veterans and things. Exactly. It's Endgame. Now you're looking at it right that, now. That is if okay. I'm even just, if they I'm don't just, get I'm Discord, just saying, man. The yes. evil empire is here. They they're coming for you. They're like right right now. They've been they've been making moves. I've been. I mean, Microsoft. Okay. Uh, on me, the surface, this doesn't look like it's linked to Xbox. I know that. Okay. But honestly, I feel like it's very much linked, because what is the one thing that Sony is trying to push right now? VR reality headsets. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. their VR reality games, right? Microsoft's like, nah, I'm just gonna give it to the army. Okay. And then, can you imagine once like Call of Duty Warzone is now VR? I mean, okay. Let's say all this happens and and Microsoft wins the augmented game, the 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 Discord game, which what what she says, the chat games, the server games, and the gaming product. There's only one industry that they have unfinished business with, in. Cars? No, that they filled. Cars. Nokia. Ah, phones. You know, okay. You know what? They might 
I'm just speculating here. They might make gaming uh, phones to the next level. Or they just buy Google. Integrating all oh, this. Oh no, bro! I know what Microsoft is gonna do next. Yeah. They're gonna buy OnePlus. It's like they just go to OnePlus and go, okay, you're mine now. Thanks. I mean, who knows, though? Who knows? They might. They might integrate everything. You know, it's like, fuck your Switch. How about <laughs> Xbox with OnePlus? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just you know. Yeah, man. Definitely. Hey, man. So overall, I think that's like really interesting. I mean, And okay, uh, it's not it's not gonna be about Microsoft, but how does Sony survive if if all this happens? Uh, first off, they're gonna need to come up with their own subscription service, and okay. that's the PS Plus, I suppose, okay. which is kind of difficult to do. Yes. And yes. then you gotta get on board with this. Yes. The augmented reality thing, mesh. Once you combine, look if you if they combine mesh with Discord, I think it's GG lah. Because no one on earth is gonna be able to do that shit. Because like, mesh, nobody. you know what? It's not just for gaming or anything or working. You know, yeah. I mean, working of course, like, but you know the potential of that, especially with COVID. Right. You know, like a guy could be just a fighter, like a like let's say like a boxer, like the trainer is in Russia or something. Yeah. And then the guy is in America. It's like just put on the mesh. And then, That's what um, I'm saying. Your form's man. wrong, dog. Like, your form. <laughs> Your phone is wrong, dog. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like, oh shit, man. <laughs> the, Could the you, potential no, is just not only that, not only that. Let's say there's mind-boggling. Let's say COVID is still existing. Like, mm-hmm. Maybe a new COVID is this. A Microsoft new COVID. can literally lobby all the schools in the world, right? To have all the budget to buy this thing, man. The governments of the world. Could you imagine that? And the funny thing is, Microsoft is fighting against. Jeff Bezos and Sony, and they're fighting against all the giants, and the giants losing. <laughs> like I did not think Amazon was gonna lose a cloud computing contract, but oh well, Microsoft just showed you that they're not going away. Like they're here to stay, man. Like for real. I mean, if it does go this way, maybe Sony is gonna have to, you know. I don't know. I guess the good thing about Sony is that they've got the loyal fans on their side with the. Yeah. Yeah. With some of the titles, uh, it's just about not screwing up any of the <laughs> titles moving forward. And, and Xbox, pretty much, I think it'll take time. I don't think they're gonna start all this right away. But okay. but you can see the game plan. Like I can the see the formula is there. Yeah, the formula looks like it's there. And you know, my knew that they won a case against the U, uh, the EU. Right. So. The EU tried to block them, and they still they're won. they're on a winning streak right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, so if you can manage to like <laughs> the EU, man, I don't know, man. Same here. Yeah, just I don't know. The gaming, the the phone industry might be the next thing they they look. I really do think that the phone industry is something they might look at. They, yeah. But they won't try to develop their own thing. No. Nah, They'll buy nah, a existing yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have enough money to do that. Yeah. You know. Because they they're, tried. They're they tried. With, they tried with their own uh, Nokia Microsoft phone and it failed. So, you know. Yeah. Maybe they still just go the Android way, but yeah, on their own terms, a hybrid wow. maybe. I won't, I don't know about the operating system because I don't think they're going to be able to change it from Android or uh, iOS. Like if they're going to make their own operating system, yeah, maybe not a, their own OS, but yeah. maybe they will buy or they'll buy like WhatsApp or Signal. You know, they'll, they'll they'll make like a new BlackBerry Messenger, you know, right. like that that exclusive thing. You know that used to be like the freaking hipster phone of, the, of everyone. Yeah, BBM. Yes. Damn. I never knew the pain. I, I didn't. I never. I never I had never, one either. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like is it free? I don't know. <laughs> is it free? It's like literally they said like BBM was like. Everyone can, liked that phone. I don't know why. It's because of BBM. I I know. Because of the texting about, thing, yeah. right? No. Yeah. Because yeah, last time there's no WhatsApp. Each text uh, costs like ten cents or something. Right, right, right. Apparently, the BBM is like for the whole day. You can just like. I'm surprised BlackBerry died I out. I, I don't know. I I do. I never added BlackBerry. Me neither. Yeah. So. So. Okay. I think that's about it. Um, 
That's we, interesting we, news. We are definitely going to have a follow up on this. Yeah, like we need to look into it more. Yeah, it, it just uh, I don't know. I've always been a neutral guy. I, I <laughs> never chose. Guy. I never chose a console because the last console I chose was Sega. Sega. But you know, you know, you know what they said that the Xbox was literally the Sega successor. The Xbox was the Dreamcast successor. Like, uh, so Microsoft loves uh, Sega, so maybe I'm more a bit. I believe it when they buy Sega. Maybe I'm a bit on. Actually, the, there was a rumor about that. They tried to buy Nintendo in 2001, and it failed. <laughs> the literally peasants no, know your lane. The, literally, the execs of Nintendo laughed in the <laughs> the, we, the meeting room. You know. Damn. And uh, <laughs> yeah, they got pissed, and it's like, okay, fuck like, it, we just make our own. We are we are here to buy you. <laughs> uh, and then Halo came. It's like yeah, yeah. All right. So all right, yeah. That's pretty good. We're definitely nope. gonna have a follow-up uh, episode discussion on this. this year. Yeah. And yeah, what do you guys think about Microsoft? Do Maybe you guys there's think... something that we missed. You know. Yeah. Do you guys think that they're dominating the game right now? Uh, comment down below. Uh, what do you think about their augmented reality headsets? And, and don't forget to list what you think is gonna happen or how Microsoft is gonna. Uh, go with this with uh, the discord yeah, thing the discord right thing. now all of this is reported the discord thing yeah what's confirmed is that they did uh win the contract mm. to sell hololens yeah. to the to create hololens for the u.s military yeah so does that have long-term implications to vr maybe 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 so don't forget to comment like and subscribe guys hit that notification bell and you know as usual thank you for being with us today we'll see you on the flip side See you guys.